Welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover the concepts of union and intersection. By definition, intersection will call that the members of the sets that are common to all the sets being evaluating. So intersection is essentially overlap, where the sets overlap or what is common to both. So if you're down here at school and you look out and you see the intersection of 35th and Wisconsin Avenue, 35th Street runs in a very long direction, north and south, and Wisconsin Avenue, of course, runs east and west, and they cover a lot of territory. There's a lot of things included on Wisconsin Avenue and on 35th Street, but the intersection is only the overlap. It is only where those two particular streets meet. Okay, so that is the intersection. And intersection we denote by using this upside down U symbol. So if we're working with a couple of sets, we might say the intersection of A, set A intersect set B, set A, intersect set B. So something like that. Union, on the other hand, is all the members in all of the sets being evaluated. So in union, everything gets represented. Okay? All the items get represented or included. So union, think teachers union or steel workers union or public employees union. Those things represent all the teachers, okay? And that is denoted by the symbol here that looks like a U. So I remember this as, you know, the U is union and the upside down U, yeah, if you're a little bit creative, you could say, okay, that would kind of like be an I, would be intersection. So here's an example of some Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams represent the relationships among sets. So we have here three different sets. We have a set A, a set B, and a set C. Okay, and there are items within each set. Apparently there's an overlap here though in sets A and B. So, some questions we might ask ourselves. What elements or which elements are included in set A. Okay, well in set A, if we look in set A, we have 1, 3, 5, and 2, and 4. So set A is made up of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. What elements are included in set B? Well, set B, here's all, here's the size of set B, part of our Venn diagram, and inside set B are 2, 4, and 6. So those include the elements 2, 4, and 6. Okay, set C, what elements are in set C? I'll let you answer that one. That's a pretty softball question. So, now I'll ask you things like this. You'll see questions that will say, find A union B. So we want the union of sets A and B. So everything must be represented. So if it's in set A, we have to include it. If it's in set B, we have to include it. So a union B would be all the items in all of the sets, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That is what is in set B, or is the union of those two sets. Find the intersection of A and B, our next question, find the intersection of A and B. So A intersect B. 
A intersect B is the overlap. Visually, going back to our diagram, that's pretty easy to see. We can see here that 2 and 4, they're included in both sets. They're in set A and set B. So intersection is what's common to both. And the numbers 2 and 4 are common to both. And we can kind of see that in our answers from above. 4 is in both and 2 is in both. Like 6 is only in B and it's not in A. 1, 3, and 5 are only in A, not in B. But what's common to both are the intersection. It is just 2 and 4. And then finally, find A intersect C. So I will leave that one for you to bring to class if you can figure out what the intersection of A and C is. And there's our introduction to union and intersection. And we will see you in class.